Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Eugenio, and today I'm going to present CenterGrasp, object-aware implicit representation learning for simultaneous shape reconstruction and 60 degrees of freedom grasp estimation. This is joint work with Nick, Tim, Wolfram, and Abner. In this work, we focus on the task of six degrees of freedom grasping of unknown objects, where the goal is to grasp a specific unknown object from clutter from camera observation. This is a high dimensional optimization problem, as many different grasp candidates exist for a given object with varying contact condition and robot joint configurations. Robotic grasping is a widely studied problem and many prior work demonstrated impressive capabilities. Nevertheless, there still exist many limitations to address. Early works assumed a known CAD model of the object to manipulate. Other works, such as NDFs, assume a heavily instrumented environment where cameras are mounted all around the workspace. VGN uses a single onboard camera, but requires a scanning motion around the workspace, which drastically reduces the speed of execution. And finally, many prior work do not reason about the different objects in the scene, which limits them to only random object picking. Other prior works investigate the synergy between geometry, reasoning, and grasp predictions. Some methods first reconstruct the 3D shape of the objects and then use it to predict the grasp. The issue is that the grasp performance now depends on the shape reconstruction quality, and shape reconstruction itself is a difficult problem. More similar to our method, Chiga proposes a multitask learning approach that uses a shared representation to simultaneously predict a scene 3D shape and grasp poses. Nevertheless, this method operates at the scene level, does not reason about objects in the scene, and it is therefore limited to random object picking. Our research question is, can we design a system that overcomes all these limitations? In this work, we propose center grasp an object-centric method for simultaneous shape reconstruction and grasp estimation. Center grasp predicts grasping in 60 degrees of freedom of previously unseen objects using a single onboard camera and from a single viewpoint, meaning it does not require a scanning motion. Also, object instances are detected, an object shape, shape reconstruction is computed, and it can predict grasps in the in occluded regions. Let's now directly jump into our proposed architecture to see how center grasp works. Here we can see the full architecture of our method. The two main components are the image encoder on the left and the shape and grasp distance function decoder on the right, SGDF. Let's zoom in into each component. First, we have the image encoder, which is inspired by prior work. Center snap. The input to our model is a single RGBD observation of the scene. The encoder consists of a ResNet based FPN backbone which produces a pyramid of features. These features are then fed to three specialized sets heatmap, pose, and latent code heads. All heads output an image with per pixel predictions. The heatmap head predicts the probability of objectness for each pixel as a scalar value between 0 and 1. The pose head predicts the 6D pose of the object at the given pixel. The code head predicts a latent representation of the object. We use a center point approach. At inference time, we take the peak of each heat map and as the center pixel of an object. This pixel is then used to extract for each object a 6 degrees of freedom pose from the map and a latent code from the code map. Our shape and grasp distance function decoder is a deep multilayer perception based on deep SDF. The input is the object latent representation together with a dense grid of coordinates in a canonical frame. The decoder then outputs an SGDF value for each point in the grid. The SGDF value consists of two parts, a scalar S representing the sine distance to the closest surface and a nine dimensional vector representing a grasp pose. We then extract all valid surface point and grasp poses as the ISO surface of the SGDF values. In other words, by thresholding out surface points and grasps above a certain threshold epsilon. The remaining surface points and grasps are then transformed from their canonical frame to the camera frame using the predicted 60 object poses. Applying the SGDF decoder 
for each object detected allows us to reconstruct the shape and predict the grasps of the entire scene. To achieve higher precision, we apply a few post-processing steps to the output of our model. The object poses are refined via point-to-plane ICP to match the predicted shape with the least observed point cloud. The list of predicted grasps is then filtered to discard all grasps that are in collision with the observed scene. Of the remaining grasp poses, we select the one that minimizes the torque around the grasp point, estimated using the gravitational force acting on the centroid of the predicted shape. These poses are then transformed from camera frame into the robot base frame, and the grasp is executed via an inverse kinematics controller. Looking now at our data generation pipeline, CenterGrasp is trained solely on synthetic data and achieves zero-shot generalization to the real world. To generate synthetic image observations, RGB and depth, as well as pose and instant segmentation labels, we use the ray tracing based renderer from the Sapien simulator and its realistic depth feature. All the textures, materials, lights, and table shapes are randomized. To generate the object heat maps, whose peaks represent each object in the image, we fit a Gaussian to the ground truth instance masks. We render each scene from two random camera poses, resulting in roughly 200,000 RGBD images and labels. To generate grasp candidates for each object mesh, we first sample 1,000 surface points from the object. For each point, we align the gripper fingers to the normal. Finally, we sample 24 different wrist rotations uniformly. We, in other words, we consecutively apply a 15 degrees rotation around the z-axis of the gripper for a total of 24,000 grasp candidates per object. From these candidates, we compute the ground truth grasp labels by checking for collisions and evaluating their antipodality. On average, we find around 8,500 valid grasps per object. Then, for each object, we use the mesh to SDF library to sample 100,000 points and their respective SDF values. For each point, we then find the closest grasp from the set of ground truth grasps of the given object and compute the respective grasp distance label. We first evaluate our model in a simulated environment, which we built using the Sapien simulator. The environment consists of a Frank Emika robot with a wrist mounted camera and a table where objects are randomly dropped. For each episode, the robot captures an RGBD observation, predicts a set of grasps, and then executes the chosen one. We evaluate grasp success against our main baseline Giga on two different set of objects. The object from the original Giga implementation, as well as with YCB objects. We find that center grasp surpasses the grasp success matrix for both set of objects by a large margin. We additionally evaluate the 3D shape reconstruction capabilities of both methods by evaluating the chamfer distance between the ground truth and the predicted object surfaces. We can see on the left a qualitative comparison where the object-centric nature of center grasp allows us to distinguish between different objects. On the other hand, Giga operates at the scene level and cannot distinguish between object instances. On the right, we show the numerical results of our evaluation, which demonstrate the center grasp achieves better shape reconstruction compared to the baseline. We additionally evaluate our method on a real Frank Emika robot manipulator and a wrist mounted depth camera. This experiment demonstrates that despite being solely trained on, on synthetic data, center grasp is able to generalize to a real world setting. The effective scene understanding of center grasp not only enhances grasping capabilities, but also unlocks various additional opportunities, which we want to highlight here. First, center grasp shape prediction from a latent representation allows it to reconstruct outward prediction even in occluded regions. We see on the left side, the object shape is reconstructed correctly behind occlusion, and the grasp predictions in the center are predicted behind the visible region of the camera. Second, the object aware nature of center grasp allows a user to select a desired object to guide the grasping process, enabling human robot interactions. To conclude, we proposed center grasp, a novel method for joint shape reconstruction and six degrees of freedom grasp estimation. 
We implemented an automated six degrees of freedom robotic grasping evaluation environment based on the Sapien simulator. We carried out extensive experimental evaluation comparing center grasp with GIGA, a state-of-the-art baseline. And we make the code, models, and videos publicly available. Thank you for listening.